Okay, so we're in there on the computer. We're right next to it. We're going to show you the data that we're getting from the fuel pressure sensor. So we're going to go straight over to live data. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go right in there to fuel pressure. And right now we're reading around 38 to 39 PSI. But we're also going to read the fuel rail pressure input voltage because that's a really that's really what the computer sees and the computer computer converts it into a PSI reading so it's more readable from the viewer or the technician whoever's trying to see what the fuel pressure that the car has. So right now we're getting a fuel voltage. And as you notice, as the voltage goes down, the pressure goes up. The pressure is inversely proportionate to the actual voltage. So if it was like one volt, then the fuel pressure would probably be around, I would say around 65 PSI. But this car runs normally 30 to 40 PSI. And by this showing that it's 38 to 39 PSI, that means that currently the car's fuel pressure is good. But the problem with the car is that at a given time, the sensor reads high input. And that means high input means excessive resistance, possibly open circuit or a bad sensor. So we're going to go to an actual better picture view. We're going to actually graph this data and show you it in real time and let you see how it looks being graphed. Okay, this is the actual data in real time graph. When you show it in a graph view, you're actually able to see the voltage change and the pressure change over time. This is a better view. This is what you want to see as a technician because when the sensor actually drops out or you have a difference in the actual fuel pressure itself, you will get to see the spike in the voltage. And let's show that. Get that out of there. Right now we're currently running at around 39 PSI. If there was a problem in actual fuel pressure of the car, you would, not only would you probably see that this red line will go down, but the car will also possibly misfire, stumble, or stall. So the solution to this problem is, is to do what we were doing in the first place is go over there and check the actual conditions of the car when the code's set. And this will help you diagnose it. So we're going to go back to the, the code and we're going to see the freeze frame data. And in this freeze frame data, we can see right here when the car was, was sensing a bad voltage from that sensor, there was no bad running conditions of the car. And what this means is that the actual fuel pressure sensor is bad because if the car had low fuel, actual low fuel pressure, the car would be running bad and it would have stalled or misfired. But during the, fuel, the freeze frame, we see that the system was under closed loop. Also, the short term trim was at negative 1.56, which is still in range. You always want to be from negative two to positive two. On the short term bank two, the short term was 0%, which is basically perfect. And the long term fuel trims are, were at 9.36 on bank two and 7.8 on bank one. And what that corresponds is, if, if it says under 10%, usually the car is running okay. Especially for a car that's as old as this one is, which is a 2004. So we're gonna go back in there to live data. Remember these numbers, 7.8 and 9.36. As long as the car is close to these numbers right now in its current conditions, when the car is running well, then you know that when that code came up, the car was still running well, which means that nine times out of 10, 
we have a bad fuel pressure sensor. We're gonna go to the live data. And we're gonna actually, not only we're we gonna read the fuel pressure right now, we're gonna read that long-term fuel trend. Scroll down. Okay, a little, went too far, let's go back up. There we go, we got the short term right here. We're gonna look at those two. Short term right there. And as we see the short term is between negative two basically and two, which means a good running car for the, for the position it's in now. We're gonna go to the long term. Long term bank, which is right here. Bank one and bank two. And right now what we got is exactly what we had when the conditions were set, which is around 7.4 and 9.7. It's give or take about, I would say about three to four percent from the numbers that were in the freeze frame data. And what that shows you is that this car was running the same way that it's running now when the code set. So it's what they call an intermittent problem. And that intermittent problem is nine times out of 10 coming from that sensor. We did, we did also did a wiggle test on the wire harness, which is intact. The wire harness is intact. There's no, no opens or shorts. So Ned Spacey has a bad fuel pressure sensor. Thank you for viewing our video. This is Genius Car Professionals, and we're out.